All right, here we are at Legion Team Camp. I've got Ian Garrison here. What's up, my dude? Hey, how are you? And uh, Ian is a speed expert amongst speed experts. <laughs> Time trialing is, is kind of your jam. Like a Legion is a crit based team, but mm -hmm. you're like the one that they're like, okay, someone's got to go out and just push it. Yeah. That's you, right? Yeah, yeah. And you race with the team in crits. Yeah. So are you the guy, like, how does that work? Are you the guy when they're just like, okay, we got to break some teams off. They just put you in the front and you just kind of like diesel everyone off the back? Yeah. So towards the end of the race, when we really decide that it's, it's the moment to sort of get together, then uh, we got me and some other riders that can really just set a fast pace at the front and kind of just, it, that like deflects all the other teams and so it protects our guys and we can just kind of have free reign to do what we want and just ramp it up towards the finish and then the fast guys finish it off. When he says deflect the other teams, he means that he rips their legs off so they can't pedal anymore. That's a nice way of saying that he drops half the field yeah, behind them. But that's the goal. <laughs> in, in, with a team like Legion in Criterium Racing, like specifically USA Criterium style racing, it's all about the team and the lead out to get the sprinters, which are usually Justin and Corey, to the line so that they can actually turn it on and put that like 1200 watts down for like the 30 seconds it takes to beat everyone. But guys like Ian are the ones that are actually kind of making it happen on behind the scenes. They don't show you lap, you know, five through 17, but this is really where a lot of the magic happens, right? Yeah, for sure. So you guys are normally on the specialized tarmacs, but what do we have here? What is, what, this thing just looks fast in the stand. Yeah, well, this is an insane bike. Uh, this is our time trial bike, the specialized shiv. And yeah, I mean, it's got a lot going on. Uh, up here, you can see the cockpit is super, super clean. Uh, SRAM obviously helps with that. We've got the blips on the front and the side. But you know you're like, okay, something, some turns are coming up, something's kind of gnarly, but mm -hmm. you try and stay in this keys as long as possible, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the goal right there. I mean, that is why they're there, is because they're the most aero position. So if you can stay in those skis for as long as possible, then you're kind of doing your job as being as efficient as possible. Is that terrifying though, to like see the corner coming up and you're like basically playing a game of chicken with yourself to be like, all right, I'm gonna stay in here. I'm gonna say, oh, here we go, grab the brakes. I think it's, honestly, I think it's more scary for anybody who's in the follow car when they're watching. But as a rider, you just, you spend enough time on the bike that you get used to it and you, you learn the limits and you know like this corner, I can take it full in. I can take it in the skis. Woo, no you way. Really just, you really just go for it. That's wild. So you actually can corner in some of the, like, you'll know, like you pre-ride the course and you'll be like, okay, this one I'm staying in. Yeah. And that's like, yeah. is it something amongst racers? Well, like some people who are good will decide to stay in the skis and just, cause this is a game of seconds, milliseconds even yeah, right yeah. towards the finish. So if you can stay in the skis for that extra corner that someone else has to get out, that could be the difference between winning and losing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, when you come out of the, when you come out of the skis, you're taking a lot of wind. And so that's- You're sucking it up in your chest, right? right? You're opening it up and you're like, hey, slow me down, right? The yeah. sail. Yeah. So these are TT specific wheels. Um, up front is the Zip 858 NSW. It has this sawtooth pattern that kind of maximizes both speed in a straight line, but also deflects sort of wind in crosswind situations. Uh, and it really just makes for a fast wheel that's also easy to handle because, I mean, like we talked about, you literally are controlling the bike with your elbows. So to have that sort of efficiency right there and safety is a huge huge factor this up front yeah i believe it's a 54 uh, from sram and with their system i mean we just run a single chain ring up front and then kind of a wider range in the back and we found that that really works well for us i mean we're able to get into those big gears in the back when you need to roll roll some power um, but also has a big enough ring in the back that on the climbs you feel comfortable and you're not grinding that's wild so you're at a 54 10 is your like power mm -hmm. gear that's yeah i can't even imagine pushing that my knees just hurt <laughs> thinking about it i have never really ridden one of these but i've seen tons of them on like the pro tour riders the triathletes and you always hear the bike coming before mm -hmm. that what is that like sitting in the skis doing 30 miles an hour do you just feel it do you hear it you hear it in different ways you definitely hear it at the start of time trials when you're when you're standing up you can kind of hear that sound kind of deflecting off that wheel and i'll say the other time you hear it is when you're passing a rider because you hear the sound bouncing off their disc of your own disc so it's kind of like a it's like a little i don't know treat with the, you know, this crazy like wind tunnel water. vibe going on and you're like whoa, whoa 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 we got a lot more stuff coming up with legion make sure to like and subscribe drop anything you want in the comments and we'll catch you next time